Hello everyone, this is Sahil and welcome back to my channel once again. I'm very glad that you're here for the third and the last video I'm doing on the King Seiko 4402-8000. However, if you're just joining us in, I would highly recommend that you go back and check out the other two videos, which is firstly on the history and the second one is on my review on the watch itself. So uh, if you're interested, just go and look for the links to the video down in the description below. In this video, however, I'll be covering two topics. Firstly, uh, the things you should look for while buying these vintage timepieces, specifically King Seiko's. And secondly, I'll go through the entire process of me buying the watch through uh, Yahoo Auctions Japan. Uh, however, if you are interested in any one part, feel free to skip to it by referring to the timestamps in the description below. If not, let's get it rolling. First of all, let me just let you guys know that a good condition for a vintage piece doesn't mean that it has to look all new and shiny. The most important part is that it must be original. And that means that there's no over polishing, there's no refinishing of the dial, uh, there are no replacement parts that are not from the same model. It's completely fine to have little signs of wears, some scratches or some patina on the dial. After all, the watch is 40 to 50 years old and these are the stuff that adds the character to the watch. Also, there's an added benefit that you can actually wear the watch without any any fear of adding more scratches to the watch. like. Even if you add a few fine scratches, it's not going to change the value very much. So yeah, with that covered, let's move on to the specific things that are important to see before you buy a 4402-8000. Or uh, these few things also go along with other King Seiko models, but you can do more research on that. So let's go. Firstly is the case. All the angles on the case must be sharp and not smoothened out. If they are grounded off, that means it's because of over polishing. And as I mentioned before, that it, that's a big no-no. Also, most of the value of this watch comes from the design uh, and all the Taro Tanaka story that I mentioned earlier. So losing the edges would just be a big no. It might look shinier after the polish, but that's not what you want. The second thing you should look at is the dial. What you're looking for here is the sunburst pattern, the printed labels, and the applied markers and logo. All the King Seikos I have seen comes with this light sunburst pattern on the dial. And if the watch is uh, missing that, that's a big sign that it, it's been refinished. Same goes for the applied markers and logos. If you find that it's uh, plays a bit off, then it must be the same thing. It must be refinished. Everything on the dial itself should be perfect. It's a Japanese product after all. Moving on, uh, thirdly, you should look at the crystal. Uh, the circumference of the crystal should be chamfered. Again, something that came out from Grammar of Design. Uh, none of the aftermarket crystals would ever have this design and they are uh, usually domed, which you can see on my watch over here. Fourthly, it's the crown. Uh, the crown of this particular model has the SW logo. For later models, it was switched to the KS signed crowns. So you should just look at which model you are trying to buy and uh, refer to the other websites or materials on the watches and find out what kind of crown is on that watch. The last thing you should look at is the case back. Look for one with visible markings and of course the medallion. The medallion actually holds a lot of the value of the watch and vintage King Seikos often being from Asian countries are exposed to a weather that is not very preserving. Also being on the case back, it is constantly rubbing with the wrist and is exposed to sweat, hence leaving a lot of these medallions corroded and often just gone. It is also common to find one that is replaced with aftermarket uh, and is just glued on whereas the original ones would be heat pressed on. Even though this would be very hard to notice if done properly, unless you remove the medallion and check for yourself, uh, which uh, no one should do, 
But if you if you see signs of glue around the medallion, that is a big red flag. You can also do a bit of research and find out that the medallion you have is correct for that model and production year. So that's about it for the first part. Now let's move on to the second one. A lot of you guys know that you can buy a lot of weird stuff in Japan. Uh, I mean like a lot of uh, Japanese company they come up with Japan only edition of their products and uh, uh, also there are a lot of cool retro stuff like gaming consoles and uh, and toys which are very collectible uh, but it's very hard to find them outside of Japan and to resell such kind of things the local Japanese people go on to Yahoo auctions Japan however the thing is that this auction is close to foreigners uh, like just to sign up for the account you need a local number and if you somehow manage that you would need a local address for the goods to be shipped to you uh, and if you can manage that as well there is no need to continue watching watching this video uh, however if you're like me who lives in another country uh, there's still a solution uh, you can go for these companies that provide proxy services like they bid on your behalf they receive the product on your behalf and then ship it out to you uh, for a small commission and uh, There's a bunch of such services like uh, Japan Mart or from Japan But Mr. Sahil over here went for Zen market. I can't talk about the other services because I didn't use them I only used Zen market and I had a very pleasant experience with them so i will share it with you guys and go through the entire process of how i bought the watch all right guys so the first step is to find a proxy service provider that you prefer uh, there are a bunch of them as i mentioned and they all have a different pricing structure so find the one that suits you the best and the second step would be to go to their uh to their website for me zenmarket.jp i will leave the link below in the description for you to follow up Secondly, you would have to sign up, uh, but for me, I have already signed in, so you can see my account over here. And the third step is to search for the product that you that you want to buy. Uh, there are a bunch of uh, websites that Zen Market supports, but for us, we are interested in Yahoo Auctions, so we'll go through that and we'll look for the product we are interested in. So King Seiko 4402. So yeah. So the good thing about the website is automatically translates to English and uh, it's easy for you to search for the products that you want. And yeah, and then you can also see that the currency is according to the country you are living in. And you can change the currency if you prefer to. Obviously, it's it's subjected to fluctuation as the as the conversion rate changes. So you see the bunch of uh, the listing that comes up and see which one you're interested in let's see if you want to buy this so look through that uh, check out the pictures if you are happy with that the uh, we'll read the description all good one thing to take note is the vat so if the seller is a registered business then they have to pay 10 percent vat so it's uh, it's not something that is uh, just limited to zen market However, if it's a private seller, then you don't have to pay this amount, so it would be free. Uh, it's normal for the products to be not returnable or whatever. Uh, shipping within Japan, uh, sometimes it's free, sometimes it's not, depending on the seller. Uh, but if it's not free, you can check out the description for the amount. Make sure you do that because sometimes they might charge you a pretty high price. However, mostly all the Japanese seller they are pretty nice and they don't try to cheat you uh, if, in my experience you can also check out the uh, ratings over here if you just go to that it will open the Yahoo uh, auctions website and you can check out all the rating for the specific seller and you can also open this item in Yahoo auctions page for whatever reason you would like to do that and yeah if you are interested you can add it to your watch list and bid it bid for it when you like it so this auction will end tomorrow in no one day six hours time so if you're interested to bid uh then you would press on please bid but however my account doesn't have enough funds so i would have to deposit fund you can directly deposit from here add money to deposit or you can go to payments 
and you can see your balance over there you'd have 300 yens so you get 300 yens i forgot to mention that uh, there's a sign up bonus of 300 yens and it's not just limited to the link below it's just for everyone that link is not f uh, not an affiliate link so to add funds just press add funds and there's a bunch of option uh and they also often tell you the fees so i went for transfer wise which is the lowest fee option and it works pretty decently um quite convenient you it takes a uh, it takes an hour for the funds to show up in your account once you have the funds uh, you can go back to the auction i can't choose this one so let's find something that is cheaper oh you as you see right there's uh in certain products like uh zenmart zenmart will zen market will aut automatically screen the listings for things like uh the seller won't be shipping the product so you can pick up only like in this one or if the uh, product is not suitable for international shipping such as animal products and stuff so they already screen uh, they they screen the products for you so that uh, you don't bid for something that you're not able to buy and also for uh, sellers that are not uh, not willing to work with proxy services so However, if you think that there's something wrong with this uh, this blocking of the item, you can unblock. Uh, you can send an unblock request, and if they f uh, they think that yeah the system made an error, they will unblock it for you. Once that is done, let's see if we can find a product that I can pay for. All right, this is blocked as well. Let's find something uh, cheaper. Mm toy maybe a cheap toy okay let's see this key right yeah so over here i can place a bed and uh, you can put in like it pretty much works uh, like an ebay auction or something there is two two uh two types of bids you can do uh, one is a normal bid and the other one is a sniper bid which is uh which is like bidding right before the auction ends and uh, it's five to six minutes for auction that is uh, that has auto extension so auto extension means that uh, if you bid in in the last five minutes of the auction then the uh, the auction will extend another five minutes so that the other bidders have enough time to consider to outbid you or not yeah so once you are you choose your bidding method you can place the bid and yep so once you place the bid you can see that the amount you place the bid for would uh, be deducted from your funds so here you go uh this is my history of payment so let's so first is the 300 yens that i got as the sign up bonus and then i added the funds that i needed to bid for the uh for the king sake over is it yeah so for this watch and uh, yeah so my first bid and they deduct the money but somebody outbid me so uh they returned me back the money so this went on for a while until i won the bid uh, so i paid 64,000 yens for the the watch plus the commission fee so once i have won the the bid right uh zen market will communicate with the seller and they will arrange for shipping then you pay for the local shipping uh, from the seller to the zen market's warehouse once the uh, item arrives in zen Mart's warehouse you can store it there for 30 days without any charges and after that you have to pay for storage fee you can store it at their warehouse and this is because let's say you're buying multiple products so you can ship everything to the warehouse first once everything is there you can pack them together and ship them out to your your like get a ship to your place in one package so you don't have to pay for multiple uh, multiple packages which would cost you a lot so this is a very uh, good way of i mean this is a benefit that that is quite interesting uh so yeah once you you pay for the shipping it will arrive at uh, zen markets uh warehouse and then you have two added uh added services that they provide so you can pay for them to take pictures of your product just to confirm that that's the right product you bought 
which would save you a lot of trouble and uh, also if the product is as per the seller's description and it's not damaged or whatsoever also you can pay for uh, for the for the packing of the okay let's not go to that okay so let's say all your products are already in uh, zen markets warehouse then you can put a package together uh, so for this particular package i chose three products that i bought uh, so they package them together for me and this is the total price uh, the total worth of the product in uh, other terms and then this is how much i declared them to be so i can choose whatever value i want to declare uh, however this is the value that the shipping company will uh, insure it for it's important to take note as well that zen market make sure that you cover the entire cost of the product so if you choose to declare the value below what you actually paid for you would have to pay extra insurance fee to zen market uh this is to protect both the parties and yeah but if you if you pay for the uh, like you declare the entire value then you just have to pay the shipping fee which already covers the insurance uh through the shipping company there are also multiple options to ship through like there's everything you would want there's uh, uh shipping by the sea you have ems you have dhl or uh, ups whatever you want to go for and the prices uh, definitely vary uh you can actually package the make the package first and then they will tell you the dimension and the weight and after that you can choose whichever service you want to go for and they will list down the prices individually for shipping through those services so which is very interesting i went for ems if i'm not wrong and then i just paid three, uh, 730 dollars uh, for the shipping and 715 dollars for uh, insurance and yeah i received the product in uh, i guess 20 days uh, around 20 days uh, this was during the covid period so it was delayed a little a little bit uh, and i made an unboxing video right away so if you're interested to watch that just go down in the description again i will link uh, i will put in the link over there yep so that's about it for this video as well we are done with king seiko and uh, until the next video ciao